Jackie Doyle Price. Thank you, Madam Thank you. Deputy yeah. Speaker. Um, and uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be able to participate in this debate. I'd first like to congratulate the Honourable Member for West Lancashire on her maiden speech. I have to say, I like her style. I, I, I like people who can bring subjects to life and talk with, with, with real empathy uh, about the experience of their constituents. And I shall look forward to uh, hearing more of her speeches, but I suspect we'll be having a few more ding-dongs than, than perhaps the spirit with which I'm addressing her now. And, and that really brings me to the, the speech I'm following from my former honourable friend, the honourable gentleman uh, from Bury South. Um, you know, I have to say that the, 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 the picture he paints is, is a rather Dickensian view, and I'm not sure that it's actually widely shared, uh, certainly not by my constituents. My constituents uh, are not without hope. Um, they recognise that we are going through a challenging period, and they recognise that it's, it's incumbent on all of us as a nation to you know, put our shoulders to wheel and get on with it. And, that, and, it, and the Honourable Gentleman Member for Eltham is no longer in his place, but he was talking, he was making comparisons about the levels of earnings and the levels of economic <coughs> growth today compared with uh, 2007. And it was a reminder that, you know, in 2008 we went through a massive financial crisis which, which required significant taxpayer intervention. And what it, that reminds us of is that when the taxpayer has to intervene, that doesn't come for free. There is a consequence for the wider economy and for everybody in it. So just as having to deal with that financial crisis made us poorer in the long run, so too does having to fight a fatal disease, and so too does having to defend freedom uh, against uh, the actions of the dictator. All these things that, require, that, that we collectively decide to take action on that cost the taxpayer will cost every taxpayer in this nation and will have an impact on our economy. But those are the choices that we make because they're the responsible thing to do, they're the right thing to do. Nothing comes for free. Everything has to be paid for by taxpayers and the more tax we take off them, the more we limit their ability to contribute to the economy. So every budget is a balance of decisions about how best, of course, to support those who need it, how best to fund our public services, but also how best to generate the revenue to pay for them. And sometimes those policies pull in different directions. But we should never forget that all the money we take from taxpayers is theirs. So when we make a change to the pension tax regime, we're not giving money away to the rich, we're letting them keep more of what they earn, and that's the right thing to do. And the virtue of this is, not only do they keep more of what they earn, but actually we're incentivising doctors to work for longer and address that capacity within the health system, and we are actually incentivising everyone to work more and everyone to contribute to the economic life of this country. And I really do think that we I think collectively in the press we spend an awful lot of time debating uh, public services and, and how much we should pay public sector workers. And I say this as somebody who spent all their career uh, in the public sector, and that, that makes me somewhat unusual uh, uh, on this side of the House. But we spend so much time talking about those things because that's what we decide to fund from here. But I often think we take for granted the ability of the private sector to generate the wealth that pays uh, for those services. And this is where I think the, the uh, budget we considered yesterday was actually such an important one. And, um, you know, members opposite can find ways of, uh, of criticising this, but it was actually very much focused on the need to tackle inflation because we all know that inflation uh, impoverishes people and it kills jobs, and it's absolutely right that we need to nip it in the bud. We know that the inflationary pressures are not made here, they're made uh, in terms of global factors, and that's why we need to be make sure we're not too short termist in, in actually addressing some of those demands because we know that if we agree to high uh, wage demands for public sector workers, they will fall through into the private sector. And I, I met with a local employer last week who, who employs 200 people and you know frankly his business cannot sustain the wage demands that he's facing uh, from his employees without making job cuts that's the reality of the situation so the more we can do to combat inflation the more we can actually restrict the, the damage that it will do um, in 
the long run in terms of damage uh, to our economy. But I said earlier, you know, I, I really do think we, we need to champion and make sure that we're providing the best possible conditions for our private companies uh, to flourish. Um, and I just want to highlight a few success stories, really, because, you know, I am very proud of, of, of uh, the businesses that, that I represent in my constituency of Thurrock. And, you know, some of them are great British brands. And not many of you know that, you know, when you have a sandwich with mayonnaise on, that will be made in my perfect constituency. If you go to the opera, everything you see on stage will have been made in Thurrock. Every newspaper you buy, that paper has come through the port of Tilbury. And uh, the, these are the businesses, these are, these are the businesses that really keep uh, our life growing. And we are looking to the future too. We have a new investment that in, in Teva trucks uh, in Tilbury, which is bringing the manufacture of, of, tr of uh, hydrogen powered trucks uh, to this country. This is, there is plenty to be hopeful about. There is plenty to be ambitious about. Absolutely. What we need to do is make sure we're creating the best possible conditions for our businesses to flourish, to give high paid jobs and to generate the wealth of this country. That's what we're going to do on this side of the house and everybody will be better off if we succeed. Yeah. Yeah.